Hi, welcome to part three of my videos on complete, <coughs> excuse me, backgammon for complete beginners. All right, time to discuss some of the movement of the pieces and the general aim of a game of backgammon. All right, we briefly touched on in part one how pieces move in circular motions around the board. Like this with one player trying to get their pieces all the way around this way and the other player trying to get their pieces all the way around this way. The object of a game of backgammon is to get all of your pieces around to your quarter of the board, the last quarter of the board here in the case of red and here in the case of black. Moving all of the pieces around to here and then ultimately taking them off the board. can't take the pieces off the board until all of your pieces are in the last quarter of the board here. So the board is four quarters here, here, here and here. And the last quarter for each player here for red, here for black is called the player's home board. The object of the game is to get all of the player's pieces around the board into their home board and then once they're all in their home board off the board and into the tray on the side. When a player gets all of their pieces off and into this tray here or here in the case of black then they win the game. Alright so let's talk about a bit how the pieces actually move. Here is the opening position for every game of backgammon. This is how it starts. Pieces arranged this way. Now, these pointed triangular things as I've mentioned before are called points. 24 points on a board and the players must advance their checkers round the points to their home board. So how do they do this? Well, think of the points as just squares on another game like Monopoly. We roll a dice and you move that piece that many squares. So if you play Monopoly and you roll, say, three, and you move your piece one, two, three squares. In the case of backgammon, the points are the squares, and if you like, represent the points on the dice. So a dice roll of a three means you can move any of your checkers three spaces. So you could move one from here, one, two, three, onto that point. If there's more than one checker on a point, you'd simply stack them on top of each other, like this. One, two, three. Put them back. Now, if you reach the edge of the board, you then go around. So a piece from here, on this point, rolling, say, a four, can move this piece four spaces, which would be one, two, three, four. Or a piece here moving six spaces could move one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's basically the core of what backgammon's about. It's a race. A race to get your pieces around to your home board for each player. And a quick try of how this works with actual dice. So we have here a 3 and a 5. Now this doesn't mean we've rolled an 8 as such. It means we have rolled a 3 and a 5. So each dice counts for a move for a piece. So we could, we could for example, move a piece 1, 2, 3 spaces then that's used the three. Now we could move another piece say five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So each dice corresponds to the movements of a piece. It could be the same piece. We could move the piece that we move three, one, two, three, could then move five. One, two, three, four, five. Effectively moving eight spaces. But don't think of it as a move of eight. Think of it as a move of five, or in this case a move of three, then a move of five. 
because the dice represent individual moves. In, incidentally, the correct move for a 5-3 here, now from the opening position, is to move this one in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this one 1, 2, 3. But we'll come to that in a moment.